that energy is really what drives everything in the body. Yeah. It's also what drives our mind, yeah. uh, right? And our ability to to interact with another human being and with the world and our ability to to do and feel and to, you know, our conscious self is really uh, emerges from the flow of energy. And the if you think about it, the main difference between a dead body, right? Just a cadaver and a thinking, feeling, conscious person that actually has experiences. It's not the cells, it's not the molecules, it's not the genes or the, you know, the organs. Everything is still the same. But when the body is alive, the main difference is energy is flowing through it, right? It's the flow of energy that actually brings everything into 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 life. So without energy flowing, the genes, right? Like the, the beloved genome, and there's been so much written about like the genes control our lives, the blueprint yeah, of yeah, life and, yeah, yeah. you know, genes is your, is your destiny. Without energy flowing, genes are just like this, and the genome is just an inert repository of information. There's like, there's potential there, but the potential is only manifested once you flow energy through it. So energy is so fundamental to to what we are. And you talked about, you know, the laws of physics. There are good laws of physics or there are formal descriptions of how the world works. Yeah. You know, there are equations and you can use them for predicting stuff. And yeah. uh, we don't have similar equivalently useful laws in biology especially not around like how energy behaves in the body. And <laughs> I think energy has been the missing dimension of medicine. 